Now, here's an interesting story. Hampshire entrepreneur Martin Montague is so fed up fly tipping and seeing loads of fly tipping, he spent a quarter of a million pounds creating a free service to make it easy to report illegally dumped rubbish anywhere in the UK. It's on an app on a smartphone. You can take a photo. This is very clever. Put it in the location and send it straight to the right department for sorting. Well, Councillor Robert Humby is the deputy leader of Hampshire County Council. Gave our reporter Matt Graveling his thoughts on it. Well, we think that anything that actually assists people in being able to report is very useful from a county point of view. When they first started setting the app up, they came and spoke to our fly tipping strategy, strategy officer to see about how it might actually work for us. What we want is consistent data so we know and, and data that we can rely on, and that actually helps us in terms of prosecution. How big a problem is fly tipping? Well, fly tipping is a very serious criminal offence and anything that we can do to prevent that in Hampshire, any tool like this that we can use, we are very supportive of. It is a serious criminal offence, so what we need to do is make sure we work in partnership with all our districts and boroughs, we work with the people like the National Farmers Union and and the Environment Agency, so we gather this data so that we can act as one voice in terms of when we're trying to uh, prosecute. Well, Martin Montague is a self-made millionaire who grew up on a council estate in Portsmouth. The 43-year-old struggled at school, worked at a factory and then as a toilet cleaner. But desperate to better himself, he got a job as a car salesman and he worked his way all the way up the ladder. Now he's turned his attention to cleaning up our countryside. And Matt Graveling asked him what he thinks of dumped rubbish. I'm disgusting. Absolutely hate it. Why? Because it's messy, it costs the taxpayer over £750 million a year. It's a growing issue, does damage to the environment, um, very unsightly, and it's antisocial. What is your personal connection with fly tipping around here? Um, the road here has actually been closed more times than I can count in the last two or three years since we've owned the house. And right now there's two lots further down the country lane, that way. And prior to you creating this app, what was your relationship with that problem? I um, just had to deal with it on a sort of daily, weekly, monthly basis. Sometimes you'd come home, there'd be fridge freezers in the road. Other times it would be um, burnt out caravans. Um, and then you'd have to try and work out how to report the stuff and deal with it, you know, long term. And how easy was it to report it, did you find? What was your experience? Um, Very difficult, and that's why I actually created the app. You'd have to trawl around looking through um, websites, call phone numbers, hold, and then you were never sure if you were put through to the right department, someone would bounce you from pillar to post. So it was really looking for a clear and concise way to be able to report the stuff. What is the, the logistics of the app? So... If I see some some fly tip waste, what happens? It's really simple. You just literally pull the app out, take a picture. It knows your location. You confirm it on the map, write a description, and then click submit. It's all done. Why should people care about where their waste ends up? Um, Good question. Firstly, you can actually get fined if your waste ends up in the wrong place. And not a lot of people know that. Uh, It's very common for people to actually get fined after paying someone, generally in cash, in good faith, or what they believe is good faith, and the stuff turns up on the side of the road and it's you that pays the bill. And and um, you've been a a victim of this kind of, um, well, robbery, I guess, (laughs) yourself? Absolutely. I was restoring a, um, a Mark I Escort and... I paid someone £250 to get rid of a lot of scrap metal and it turned up literally down the road. Is that when enough is enough for you? Well, enough was enough when I couldn't get to my own front door for two weeks because they blocked the road, but yes, it was. Do do you think this app's going to speed up that retrieval time? Um, Certainly it will make it easier for councils because of the reporting. Um, I can't say whether or not it will speed up the reporting time. The problem is the councils are dealing with a growing problem year to year and obviously they're having resources cut on an annual basis as well. What's your hope for this app? Because obviously you're based here in the south and you've got connections and relationships and you're working alongside local councils, but what's the hope for the next few years? Well, this app works with every council in the UK, so it's a nationwide um, app. I'm hoping that we'll be able to use it to reduce fly tipping 
um, by building in a um, price comparison service to it that will only show you licensed waste removal companies. Um, but more importantly, it will be a cashless system because it's the people who pay cash who normally end up with their goods being flighted. What a top idea. What an amazing guy to actually spend the time to think of the solution, do the research, and then do it. Martin Montague, we salute you. Fantastic. BBC Radio Solent. Travel. Let's get the latest on the roads. Here's Ollie.